serve a mighty God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm, we were just singing this song. Jehovah is his name. Call his name. And that's what we're doing tonight. It's all about God. It's all about Jesus tonight. And uh, when I was thinking, what, what, what am I going to say? Just a verse popped into to my mind. And it's written in Revelations. I want to read it before we move on. Revelation chapter 1, starting from verse 5. And from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and released us from our sins by his blood. And he made us into a kingdom priest to his God. To him be the glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Behold, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, and even those who pierced him, and all the tribes of the earth will mourn over him. So it is to be a man. I am the Alpha and Omega, says the Lord God, who is and was and who is to come, the Almighty. My friends, if there was someone to worship, if there was someone that would receive the praise, if there would be someone that we could celebrate, that we can honor tonight, it is the name of Jesus Christ. It is the name of Jesus. And my friends, Jesus, He is the King. He is the Lord. My friends, I don't know if you were paying attention the last several weeks, but we, we celebrated as a body of Christ the death and res resurrection of Jesus Christ. You know, Jesus, we, we talked about this, and we know this, but I want to remind us, you know, Jesus, he came down to this earth, he lived his life, but his main mission was to die on the cross. His main mission was to take upon himself your sin and fix the relationship with the father and so he did we know he went on the cross he was nailed to the cross he was pierced he was beaten and he took upon our sins upon him the sins that we struggle with some of us here whether it's fear whether it's anxiety whether it's depression whether it's rejection, whether it's pornography, whether it's something that, that troubles us. My friends, Jesus Christ, he nailed it. Jesus Christ, he nailed that to the cross. He nailed it and he died. My friends, and tonight his hand that was scarred, that was bleeding, is reaching out to you and saying, come to me with your problems, with your sins, with your addictions come to me and I'm able and I am able to free you I am able to give you life I am able to give you a chance I am able to bring you home my friends he has called you my friends but he didn't just die but my, my my friends the Bible says on the third day he arose and he ascended on the throne and he's seated at the right hand of the father my friends, Jesus wasn't just buried, but he resurrected. He is alive today, and he is the king, and that's what we're worshiping. That's what we're glorifying tonight. He is the king, the resurrected, that beat death. The Bible says he had them. He took the keys of death and hates. He has dominion. He deserves all the glory and all the worship. My friends, are with me singing the next two songs. Glorify him. Magnify him tonight. Don't be silent, my friends. Let the praise rise up. And if you're going through something in your life, if you're going through struggles, if you're going through sin, addiction, my friend, give it up to Him and worship God. Worship Him. He died for your sin, but He also resurrected. He is King, and He wants you, my friends. So let us go into a state of prayer right now and worship. Lord God, we thank you, Jesus. Lord God, we thank you, Lord, of who you are. We thank you, Jesus, that you died for us, Lord. And God, that you took upon ourselves our shame and guilt, God, condemnation, uh, Lord God, the things that we're struggling with, God, shame, Lord. We thank you, Lord, you nailed it to the cross. And my friend, and, and God, thank you, Jesus, that you gave it all for us, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. 
Oh God, I pray God's those who might be strong enough to give it up to you, Jesus. But and give it up to you, Jesus, Lord. Oh God, I pray that, oh God, that we would just surrender tonight, Jesus. And God, we want to worship you. We want to glorify you, Jesus. We thank you for what you have done. We thank you for your resurrection power. We thank you that you are king. We thank you, Lord, and we worship you tonight. We give you the glory in Jesus' name.
still voice to silence all my fears. Even the worst of my mistakes, a miracles in the making, a miracles in the making. My strength.
Yes, Jesus, we thank you for your spoken word. We thank you, Jesus, for your love so abundant, Lord. We thank you so much for the sacrifice, Lord, that you went through, Lord, just to love me, to show your love for me. Thank you, Jesus, for all that you have done. Lord, your word is settled in heaven. Your word is settled in heaven. It is so. We thank you, Jesus, that you are faithful to your promises. We thank you, Lord, that you are faithful to your promises and you are unwavering. Lord, you are unwavering. You are faithful. Faithful is who you are. Faithful is who you are, Lord. And we thank you so much for your faithfulness. We thank you so much for your abundant mercy and for your love that just pours over us every morning when we wake up. We thank you so much. Lord, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, that your love never fails. That your love never fails, Lord. We thank you. Jesus, you are good. You are good. Our God is good. Amen. Amen. And all of his work is good. You know, there are so many stories in the Bible that talk about God's healing. Jesus coming on earth and he healed those with leprosy. He healed those with withered hands. He opened the eyes of the blind. He did so much. And it's written all for us to, to read, for all of us to know Him more. And this next song we're going to be singing, we're going to be singing about God's goodness. We're going to be singing about His faithfulness, that He never changes, that He is faithful to His promises. And we know because it is written in the Bible that He healed, He delivered. There were souls that were saved and believed in Him. We know that we can receive that same thing today because He, He did it. He promised it. He promised it to us. If you came here today and you're hurting, maybe it's something mentally, maybe it's a relationship, Maybe it's some part of your body that is hurting and you just need healing today. Look, this is your moment to just praise Him. This is your moment to cry out to Him because He's listening. He listens to those who love Him. If you've just been going through a rough patch in life and you're just confused or you're wondering and you have so many questions in your mind today. God is here to give you clarity. Jesus didn't lead people into confusion. He explained things. He led them to truth. And He can help you today if you are lost. And your faith is wavering and you don't even know if you believe in God anymore. If you, love, if you truly love Him. Jesus brings back the lost through His blood. Call upon the blood of Jesus today and He will come. He will find you where you are at and He will deliver you and He will help you and He will heal you and restore you. And if, if you feel unforgiveness, and you feel like you just can't forgive someone or you think God is mad at you, and He'll never forgive you for something you might have done. Dear friend, when He went on that cross, I could tell you He thought about you. He thought about your unforgiveness. He thought about the thoughts that you would think. And you could just let it all go to Him today. Because He carried your unforgiveness on that cross. He did that for you. And the song we're going to be singing, 
I've seen cancer disappear. Broken bodies are healed. There's resurrection, physical and spiritual. There's mental health that we see is restored. There are broken families that are reunited. There are prodigals that have gone out. But they're coming back. They have come back. There's deliverance of troubled souls. There is freedom from addiction today for you. There is freedom for addiction. There is revival. Today is revive night. There is revival in the power of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, there is power. There is revival. And there are nations that glorify God. There are nations that glorify and praise His holy name and cry holy. So as we're stepping into this song, whatever you're going through, just lay it at the cross of Jesus Christ today. Give it all to Him. Tell me he can do. We see family. 
families reunited, we see prodigals return. Don't you tell me he can't do it. Don't you tell me he can't do it. We see troubled souls delivered. We've seen that it's finally free. Don't you tell me. Yes. 
just want us all to take a moment right now. Close your eyes. Your neighbor shouldn't bother you right now. Just close your eyes. And just think about the moments that the Lord has been there for you. That he has provided for you. That he has come through in such supernatural ways. We're just going to take a moment. And just start counting. Start counting. just wanted to share a part of my story that some people might not know um i struggled a lot with fear and anxiety a lot i've always been this outgoing person but um it was bad especially when i was at night by myself um these thoughts of the enemy would just come through um have panic attacks uh moments of self-harm thinking i was just like up in the deep with that one every single day show up do my thing and kind of call it good and there was a moment when I was in nursing school where like I had this this situ this panic attack that hit me full on and I've I had got a phone the week before and it stopped working and I was like aha this is the devil see this is something happening right and I just I took that moment I was just I was driving home from Kirkland I was like, God, I can't do this anymore. You have to come through. I can't. There's no way. I can't hold this any longer. And um, and because looking back, I would just allow the enemy's voice to be so profound in my life. And the enemy, you know, just saying things and, and beating you down in all those moments. Like, you don't have a voice, this, 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 this. But there, everything changed when I said, hey, God. I release it into you. I don't want it no more. This is yours. And I started stig- sticking into the word. There was moments where before I would, you know, you say you read the gospel, but do you really, really the Bible? Like God speak to me, but your Bible is like dusty on your shelf. And I started reading scripture. And there is, there's this part where it talks about um, the armor of God and how the sword is what you fight things with, right? And that's the word of God. And I said, aha. Like I'm looking for evidence and I'm gonna say, aha, uh-huh, that's, that's my thing. So I started to proclaim, I'd have sticky notes on, on my windshield and I was driving to school. There is no fear in love, but perfect love, which is Jesus cast out fear. And God did not give me a spirit of fear, but a power, love and sound mind. And all these moments, and I just repeat them over and over and over because I was like, this is my grasp and this is what I have. And therefore this is how I'm going to keep going. And there were so many moments where I would feel stuff go on and I say, like advert, I always thought it'd be weird to like talk in the car to yourself, but it's not. And there'd be moments that come up and I said, devil, I'm not yours, get away. And I just start reciting scripture. Just restarting it over and over and over and over again. And there's moments right now where there's creeps of anxiety and creeps of fear that come on, but I, I've dug into the identity that the Lord has placed over me, right? There's so many moments the Lord speaks about us and, and who we are and who has placed us to be. He calls us more than conquerors. He calls us friends. And the enemies lie right now in our, our culture is that you are by yourself. There's no one else that's going through the same things as you. The other lie that's going around right now is, hey, the devil's like, hey, did God really die for you? Hey, your sin's too deep. Did God really do that? Did God really take it up on there? I'm going to tell you something. The word of God says that everything has been done and it is finished. And that's what Jesus said on the cross, that it is finished. And sometimes we listen to testimonies like you're listening to me and you're like, ah, cool, like cool story. And pastor talked about this a couple months ago. It's like, there's a difference between knowing that God can heal and there's a di- and then there's the other aspect where like will, will God or that God can heal and then there's another thing of will God heal me? Does God see me? And is God able to do it? And is He willing to come into my situation, to come into my life and do what He needs to do? And I'm telling you guys, reading Scripture right now, He is, He is willing. And I don't know if anyone here is struggling with any anxiety, any fear. I work in the ER and so many people come in and like, I have anxiety, I have fear. And I'm like, our words are so powerful. You should not be saying that. Stick to scripture. What does God say? There is 
he says that perfect love which is Jesus casts out fear in all these moments and I just want us to center ourselves on what the Lord has done and what he is willing to do because it is so so powerful you're not called to live in slavery you're not called to live in fear you're not called to live in anxiety because the, everything has already been done on the cross and I wanted to um, we're gonna go into this this song right now I don't want to read a verse hold on it's in Revelation chapter 12 um, do you guys know what the opposite of fear is faith 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 and replacing that fear with faith and saying God I don't know what's going on right now you see my situation you see my finances you see my job you see this some people are like yo God I want to get married hey don't laugh it's a real thing some people are like hey God I need I want this I want that but putting everything and casting everything upon the Lord and just believing like hey God he's done it he is doing it and he will do it again like we just saying but not only for people around me but for me and there's this, this um, verse revelations 12 um, revelations 12 10 it says and I heard a loud voice in heaven saying now the salvation and the power in the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come for the accuser that's the devil the accuser of our brothers has been thrown down who accuses them day and night before God and they have conquered him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony so we're gonna sing this song called testimony right now and I want you guys hey there's situations that the Lord hasn't come through yet but you have moments we just thought about it moments that he has come through in the past and you can say hey God I've read scripture I've read your word you came through my life you've came through the people around me you came through therefore you will come through for me but we're not approaching it as as a place of like Lord like a, a fear and like will it come or anything like that but it's a, a place of hey God you've done it again and you will do it again and scripture says we've overcome by the blood of the lamb and our word of our testimony so I want us to come from that place all right let's worship God together
out here and she was sharing her testimony of how the Lord impacted her and the practicality of the Word of God I want to challenge each of us that our lives would consist of a testimony testimonies are difficult because without a test there is no testimony without a challenge without something that we must go through that we must persevere through but it's so powerful when we can come out of circumstances and look back and see God's faithfulness through all of it. Friends, I want to challenge us, encourage us, first and foremost, me. We serve a God who resurrects from death to life. But would we not sing of that on a screen, but that we would say, Lord, you have resurrected me from death to life. Not about somebody's life. We're not singing about Lazarus. We're singing about us. This is something the Lord has done in my heart, and I pray that it would be in each and every single one of our hearts in this place. Friends, there's power in a living faith, not just one of proclaiming and singing and leaving the same, but that we would allow the things that we sang here tonight, the things that we worshiped our Lord with, that we would leave this place and say, Lord, may it be so in my life. When difficulties do come, that we would look to Him and we would have a faith so powerful and know that that's not just something I was singing that's something I believe friends let us be those believers that the Lord has called us to be maybe tonight we're wrapping up here and you're like ah oh, that was a that was a good show it was good to hear some music friend I pray that the Lord radically encounters you in your life that you leave this place and he gives you no peace until you fully surrender unto him Friends, the Lord, He desires those who worship in spirit and in truth, not in show and tell. Those that truly know how to worship Him by His spirit and in His truth. May that be each and every single one of us. Amen. He's worthy of it. Friends, He's worthy of it. He's worthy of your surrender. He's worthy of the full commitment unto Him. He's worthy. And let me tell you, when you look through all of Scripture, those that committed themselves unto the Lord, the Lord would use them for His own glory. You want to believe in a cause and fight for a cause? Be a part of His cause. He is the God of the living. He's not the God of the dead. He is the living God. That is the, uh, the God of all of the living saints that follow faithfully after Him. Friends, beautiful time in worship. We're going to be coming to a close and spending some closing moments in prayer and just thanking him for all that he has done for us and that we would be able to leave this place with the peace of God over our souls knowing that he cares for us he is the good father he loves you so much dear friend I don't know what you're going through maybe what you've been through but he is good regardless of the pain the suffering that we may go through friends we don't go through it alone everyone goes through sufferings but the believer goes not alone but with him let us look to him as let us close in prayer just thank him for what he has done and for who he is bless his name lord we once again come before you and just want to close out here this moment of worship lord with this just a moment of prayer of thanksgiving and gratitude to the living god the king of kings and the lord of lords who wants something to do with each and every single one of us we thank you that the price that was paid for us was paid in full not a portion but in full we thank you for the grace that has been poured out upon our lives that we can be alive in you 
Lord, I pray, would you give us the strength? Lord, would we walk in a living faith where our actions, our words reflect the faith by which we live? Lord, that we would live in a manner that is worthy of the gospel by which we have each been called. We thank you, Father, for your grace and for what you are doing here in this place, we pray. Lord, we'll revive 2024. Lord, would you do it? Would you do it? Would you raise up young men and women for your glory, for your name's sake, so that we would be able to look back and say, oh, we lived a life worth living. We ran a race that was worth running because we bring glory to him. We thank you, Father. We pray, would you bless the rest of this evening in the fellowship? Lord, we thank you for those who have committed so much time in putting this together. We pray, would you reward them? Would you bless them, Father? And would we be able to enjoy Enjoy the fruit of their labor. God, bless the food, bless the fellowship, and in all would you be glorified. We thank you, King Jesus. We pray all this in the name of the Son, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, we say. Amen. Friends, thank you so much for joining us tonight. We're going to be concluding. Outside, we've got food. It's going to be a good time. Please go have a good time. Meet someone new. Lord, bless all of you.